New York State politicians have discovered a problem. Some people in the Empire State are employed in hair salons as shampoo assistants. Hang on a second. I could have sworn there were a bunch of people dying there from the COVID. I would presume that with COVID going on, everything slows down. It gives bureaucrats and politicians the opportunity to start sticking their noses in places that they wouldn't otherwise have the time to stick them. And here we are. And here we are with shampoo assistants who presumably <laughs> assist in shampooing customers' hair. The problem is that there's no entry for shampoo assistant in the state's Division of Licensing Services manual. Believe it or not, there is such a thing. Displaying, displaying the quintessential mindset of authoritarians everywhere, New York's politicians took that to mean that workers weren't authorized to serve as shampoo assistants. And so they jumped on the opportunity both to authorize this line of work and to protect New Yorkers from bad shampooings. The first thing that bothers me is the presumption that people need the government's blessing to sell their labor. Currently, people require the government's permission to serve in around one-third of all jobs in the United States. Now, a bill moving through New York's State Assembly seeks to add shampoo assistance to this list of licensed jobs by requiring that people shampooing hair in hair salons be licensed by the state. In the name of protecting customers, the bill requires shampoo assistants to complete up to 1,000 hours of training in cosmetology oh at a cost <laughs> at a cost of over $10,000. Oh my oh my god. Oh yes. Oh my for to to, for to to do what any 4-year-old human being knows how to do. Right? Oh, it's worse, James. For comparison, both Harvard Medical School and NYU Law School require medical and law students to complete 64 credits of coursework. One credit is one hour per week for 15 weeks, so Harvard Medical School and NYU require physicians and lawyers to have 960 hours of classroom training versus up to 1,000 hours for the hair shampooers. Well, having solved all its other problems, I'm sure New York State will do quite well here. Oh, oh, listen, it just gets better. The basic course for police officers in New York State only runs 700 hours which means that the time required to make someone safe enough to shampoo someone else's hair exceeds the time required to make someone safe enough to carry a gun and arrest people. Lord. Whether the proposed law would protect consumers depends on how dangerous a shampooing can be. What is clear is that the law will restrict the number of people who can shampoo hair. This will benefit existing shampooers and hairstylists who will face less competition and so will be able to charge higher prices. It will benefit cosmetology schools that will see an increase in enrollment. It will also benefit New York State as it collects both licensing fees from licensed shampoo assistants and fines of up to $1,000 each from the unlicensed shampoo assistants. <laughs> and I want to remind people that this was not the foolishness of the week. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? This is just asinine. It's absolutely asinine. I, I don't even know what to, that's so stupid. I don't even know what to say about it. But just I think about say, how safe that you'll be getting a hair shampooing in New York State. 